Well, there's the entrance. Perfect weather. The sun. So, kind of hard to find. You can't miss that sign. It used to be not signposted at all. So, it's actually much better now. But I'll give you a squeeze at where the, what the sign says. And then it's all up, up, up again. So, you're going to Nipicherna, the green easy trail. So, there's a little bridge. Then it's up all the way. This is going to be very muddy and wet. Without a doubt. That's alright. And it's a little ways up before we get to the mushroom spots. I have my same mushroom spots and... Oops. I haven't been here since before the pandemic. At least three or four years now. Just too long. I think three years since I was last here. And then I actually got the whole stack of pigs up. Lots and lots. So I didn't bring the external mic so the sound will be so-so. That's too bad. It takes too much space. This way it's a bit easier to lug around the camera. I just had the GoPro last time. Didn't have this big camera. Ah, puffing already. So it's all uphill. I think I want to put that on otherwise, so there we go. So one last flat bit, I put a little go over the marsh. And then it's up all uphill, but from here on up there could be mushrooms. We actually met a hunter here once coming down this. Big silencer on his rifle. That was pretty weird to be hunting in these woods right next to all these neighborhoods, but I guess it's allowed. That was many years ago. Alright, just take some photos. So straight up, but from up the top there starts the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm going slowly enough that I don't get puffed taking photos and going slowly looking for mushrooms. There's the main trail, there's a side trail. There used to be mushrooms, not last time, but before that there were loads, so do a detour and check that. Well, there's a couple swings. Uh, this is an alternative trail up. But right along that rock ledge, there used to be way back 10, 15 years ago. Nothing there this time, so now I have to, there's no more mushrooms after this, so I have to head all the way to the top and then along the trail to the end of the trail, and more or less the end of the trail, the end of the lake. There's a good mushrooming spot. Those are the two that I know about. And we're too late for Trakantarele, but there's another spot for Trakantarele. But, anywho, head back to the main trail. Lots of goat trails here. Easy to get lost. Did get lost a few times. Did some bushwhacking. Main trail is pretty easy to follow though. So you can see. Oh. Someone carried this all the way up. There's no snow here, so no scooter. And that's some of those pretty heavy. Wow. If we're building little trails across the puddles, they did one down there that we crossed already. Anyway. Well, first pig up, success. Just right next to the trail. Nobody picks them. So they're still in season. That's excellent. So I might, I might get a few. Who knows? Didn't realize they'd be this high up. Anyway, cool. Now, 
up, up, up. Very wet here. Had to go through some mud. So, there are more pigs up there, but they're all rotten. And someone had picked a few. So I think that's all there was there. So go right up to the top and then to the end of the trail and then there's another spot. I may not get that many now, I'm too late. By three or four weeks, probably. And you never know, some of them were okay. Those little ones I picked were still all right. So, just up, up, up. So up we go. It's a slog. It's not as steep as you think though, Mama. It's fairly steep, but it's easier than Skredderdalen. Maybe a bit longer, I think. Not to say. Looks like there's a firing range, shooting range next to us. A lot of banging going away, going on. Uh. All right, turn you off. This, but this is the last steep bit right up to the top. So I've been going half an hour, but I stopped for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, pick mushrooms and take photos. So <coughs> it's really not that bad. It's not as bad as Skrederalen. Still up though. Well, there's the top up there. So. <sighs> Ways to go yet. Well, there's Nipachern. Ah. Ah. Ah, I puffed. Whoops, ow. It's a bit of a hill. This is the part Mama thinks is steep. No mushies here though. Have to go to the end of Nipachern. So this is a side trail that goes to where there were lots of Trakantarela last time. Too late in the season, but there's a good view. But mostly, the main trail just disappears. Can't find it. There's one that goes by the lake, but I don't think that's it. So, I don't know, I haven't looked at the map. Which is on my mobile. And that's alright, we go this way, that's where I went last time. And then you get really good views over Canada, Skogen, and Lot of Fjord and parts of Bergen. So the landscape really opens up here. As you can see, when it came this way, there's Ulriken, way in the distance. So I've used 40 minutes up here so far. Normally I'd use half an hour if I wasn't picking mushrooms and taking photos. So it's only half the height of uh, Skredderon with Stolzikleven. Oh, this is where I got mushies last time and sure enough, still here, the Trakantarelli. But I think they're basically rotten. They're too wet. There's some more over here. Not a huge number of them, so there we go. That's not really what I'm after this, this time I want pigs up. So I'll leave those alone. There's more over there. Maybe I will pick some actually. There's quite a few. I don't want to dig out the mushroom bag though. I don't know. There's truck on Torelli. I think I can pick a few. Uh, most of them are mostly had it though. Well, there's quite a lot here. I don't want to be dragging the bag around though. But I think I will pick some. There's too many here. Not to pick them. Well, there's actually a lot of Trakantarelli here. So I think I just hit the jackpot. So I will have the the basket out it looks like. Good grief, all right. Well, not really what I was coming for, but mushrooms are mushrooms, so uh, 
dig out the basket and then I have to strap it onto my backpack which is really a pain in the butt but uh, we'll see all right see more here and there almost had it but still alive well I really hit the jackpot and picks up here nice ones too and more over there so this is and more over there there's another one the white thing there too so hit the jackpot big time so I might end up with quite a full basket this right there are lots of truck content I learned they're not too bad they're a little wet but they're not rotten not completely rotten anyway on the way but uh, I'll take some photos and then uh, get a thing of the view and then there's another mushroom spot by those trees just over there in the middle so get these pigs up in the bag first though well there's the view that's quite a cliff that's a uh, 150 meter cliff straight down so I'm not sitting on the edge and far back as you can see but yeah so and that's the fjord and Paradis and Nestun down there anyway so mushroom spot number two and mushroom spot number three. I've got quite a few already, so I'm doing well. But they pop up in the same places, so this is where I found them last time. Uh, right next to two girls who are looking at the view, and sure enough, they're back. Not as many this time, but I'm sure you look carefully, you'll find more. That's a fair handful there. I don't see any more down this way. But uh, here we squeeze. There we go. More Traconterelle and some big ones. And more over there. Cool. Here's an example of where, if you're an Eastern European, didn't know the mushrooms, you can go very wrong. These look a little bit like Traconterelle. They're yellow and they're long and oval, but they're definitely not, and they're probably poisonous. I don't know how poisonous, but anyway, so gotta be careful. Just the trail going down. Covered about the bottom of the basket now, but it's not really exactly full. I won't fill it this time, I don't think. Not quite enough mushrooms for that. But uh, if, unless I get a whole pile of pigs up, which could happen, you never know. They're out. There's pigs up out and they're not rotten. So, Nipachurn uh, is down to my right. Anyway, I have to go hit the main trail now and then mosey along that for about a kilometer until we get to the end and then that's picks up spot and then a little further on is another and then I turn around and just go back the same way I came although I won't make this uh, detour I don't think just follow the main trail then I want to be back by about 3.30 for same bus back it drops me right outside the door so I mean that's the goal anyway Oh, there's Nipachern down below. I'm actually getting towards the end. Uh, next mushroom spot. May or may not be, it's right on the trail, so they may have already been picked. Though I just found one right on the trail right now, five minutes ago. So, I mean, hard to say. Nobody appears to be picking them. So, uh, but there has to be some. Anyway. Well, like I said, right by the trail, nobody's picking them. Right next to right on the trail. And there might be some more here. I don't see any though. And that's a big one. Perfect. All right, in the bag it goes. Well, right by the trail again. There's some little babies there. There's a big one there. There's another three right there, good size. Do we see any more? I think that's it. But this is where they were last time. They come back the same place every year. And there should be some more up the top of this. This little bluff there. Trail goes up there to the left. And then some further along. But I'll have to pick these first. So we're getting quite a few picks up. So I wouldn't call it jackpot. I've had more. I've had 
two baskets full before. But I mean, it's not bad. So I'll put this away. To get the knife. Well, hit the jackpot. Someone's building a fire, chopping down wood. That's no, not cool. It's like Finn and I do. So quite a few there. All just along the trail. Nobody's picking them, obviously. So, all right, more pig sop. Well, I probably didn't focus that, but that's jackpot for you. So getting quite a few here. They're probably camping here. <laughs> Looks like they've got enough luggage in the beef hill now. Camping in the beef hill now, that's pretty lame. Anyway. Well, I took a little side detour off the path, and just as well I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight big, big ones too. The huge ones may be slightly rotten, we'll see. But they look all right. So, wow. So I'm really getting quite a few mushrooms now. It's going to be half a bag, half a basket full, I think, thereabouts. Anyway, I'll give you a close up. This is big boys. There, some of them were really hidden under the grass, though, like this guy, really hidden, and one over there very hidden. Anyway, you can see the sun is already setting, already going down. That's kind of a shame. But uh, anyway, well, this is as far as we go. Go any further and we lose altitude, so it's no good going down the mountain again. But I'd made the main mushroom spots and they paid off big time. So come back to the same spots every time. So we'll go to the view spot and then head back to the lake, I guess, and take a little break and then head home. Mission accomplished. Got a half bag full of mushrooms, at least. Looks like there may be even more over there. So, have a look at the view first. Old rotten poisonous ones. Oh, I don't know if they're poisonous, I don't know what they are. Not good ones, and rotten. So, there's another cliff. No going too close. It's, the ground is a bit slippery too. It's quite a view though. And the fireplace here, someone can sit around building a fire. Wouldn't want to have too many beers. So that's a serious drop. That's a good 250 meters straight down. So I'll take a photo. There's the fjord. So this is the end of the trail actually. It doesn't go any further because it's just cliffs straight down. Can't get any further. So that's it. That's the end of the trail. So I don't think maybe there's a goat trail, but I mean, you need climbing rope just about. So that's that. I don't know if I'm getting the evening colors that well. It's kind of overexposed when it's on auto ISO. Now focus. There we go. All right. Well, there's the lake and the end of the lake where Mum and I usually picnic about two or three times now. The Demning, the dam trail lens here and anyway so I can take a little break I'll take some photos the water is perfect perfect water for photos so I'll see crazy coming straight down a the cliff they're gonna get in trouble <clears throat> this is really bad that's really stupid that's really stupid there's no way they can come down it's too slippery and it's all cliff crazy. Anyway, someone left a bench for me. I don't want to look at these crazy people because I can see there's going to be a fatal accident. They're going to get stuck very shortly. Maybe not. Maybe they'll make it down, but I don't think they will. Crazy. What, what are they thinking? Stupid, stupid. The locals who don't go hiking enough can't see the trail. It's really bad actually. They're gonna be stuck there. Mm. 
Well, nothing I can do to help them. Bad, though. Well, they made it down. A middle-aged couple in their 50s and a teenage son, older than I thought they'd be. And that was their first day from Bagan. That was their first time going down. They didn't know the way. And that could have ended very badly. That was really crazy. But they made it down. So maybe it's not as bad as it looks. But it looks pretty bad. I mean, let's look at that thing. And straight down that. Crazy bad against it, anyway. So someone's built a nice bench because there's really nowhere to sit here. Dedicated to someone. Let's see if I can't get, well, I think I've got my photos. They're not that, the colors are not that great. So I need to take a pee, then time to head home. Well, there's an hippie now, but I have to go this way along a goat trail or just bushwhacking to get to my trail, I think, I'm pretty sure. So, the mobile just turned itself off, which is 80% battery, and it just turned itself off, so dodgy battery. Dodgy battery, that's no good. So, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is the right way, I just checked the map. So, uh, huh, funny. So I didn't take the upper trail, there's no point. Go this way. And it's just grass, so that should be no problem. But if I didn't have the map, I'd be pretty lost. Well, my feet are soaked. My right foot is soaked. Going through the marsh, but I made it back. That was pretty straightforward. They could use some signposting, though. So, uh, it wasn't too obvious. But now it's just down. And then bus back, and then... I kind of want to make the shops before they close because I'm out of milk and I'd like a few cold beers uh, while I'm editing this video and doing the photos. That's always a tradition. Mama won't approve. But uh, so I have to make the shops before 6. It's now 2.30 so it should be fine. Well, it's a few ways down. And the bus goes every half hour which is fine. So that's pretty cool, and goes stops right outside my door, right outside the shops too. So I'll take it straight to the shops. Do my shopping, newspaper for the mushrooms, beer, milk. And then, uh, move down home and uh, crack a cold one and do the videos. This bridge is new, we used to have to wade through, it was very wet. So this is the last two, three years they built that. I don't think it was here the last time I came, I'm not sure. I don't think so though. It was very wet. There were just a couple planks. So anyway, progress. Well, there's the road, so I'll just make it that far without an accident. And then hike up to the bus stop. That's quarter to three. I left at 11.40. So it's three hours and ten minutes, give or take. Pretty good. Stopping for mushrooms and well, stopping for mushrooms and filming, obviously. So that was at least an hour doing that. So you could have done it in two hours this whole trip. If you went a little bit faster than me. So there it is. Lipicherna. Gravalsvilla. Time to find us a bus stop. Well, 15. Focus. Won't focus. Is it focusing? No. Focus on this is not great. Maybe I'm too close. Anyway, it says 15.08. This next bus, and that's in 20 minutes, it's 10 to 3 now. 10 to 15. European 24 hour time. So now I get to put the camera away. Got really a crazy amount of mushrooms see when I spread them out on the balcony. So that was super success. I got, there wasn't that much sun though, it was supposed to be full sun, but so very disappointing there. So it was a bit overcast and the colors are not great. I don't know about shooting on auto eyes, so if that's such a good idea I should probably stick to manual. 
is a bit overexposed, but uh, I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to color grade it. Just string it together all in one five minute job and export it. And then the photos I will try and fix up a little bit. Anyway, time to put you away in the backpack and then in about half an hour, 40 minutes, it's beer o'clock. Yay! Oops, well, basket is about a little less than half full, a third full, but there's good four kilos at least. Lots of pig sop, I really scored and did really well, so uh, I'll get another shot when I spread them out to dry. Need to dry out overnight and then I'll fry them up tomorrow and freeze them down. Cool, success, and I got some exercise and the back is feeling a lot better. A really stiff back. I mean, I hadn't been for a hike for, a real hike anyway, for nearly three weeks. And this was a good three hours, so that's something. Not super strenuous, but it's a bit of a hill. All of 95 meters, maybe 200 meters, I'm not sure. My mobile turn, phone turned off, so my uh, Oryx Maps, my tracking software stopped working. It didn't, uh, it didn't get my track log, which sucks. But uh, anyway, a nice easy going hike, not too difficult. So that's about four kilos of mushrooms, just about between three and four kilos. It was quite a bit. Lots of tracantarelle or chanterelle de bois and pig sop or hedgehog mushrooms, I don't know what they're called in French. So, jackpot. So, now I get to edit the video, my favorite part. I do the photos. That's actually kind of fun to see the day's video with the cold one from Paris Beer. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Alrighty, this is the last of the video. But, uh, woohoo! Did it right there.